Remember, remember the 5th of November. This one happens to be taking place in 2007 at Murphy's Tap Room in Manchester, New Hampshire, where porcupines are gathering in preparation for a vigil. In the spirit of the day, in support of Lauren Canario, freedom activist, who's been held in the Valley Street Jail for over a month now because, well, let's go find out. Russell Canning, enemy of the state. <laughs> Why is Lauren Canario in prison? Well, right now she's in the Manchester jail because uh, she's in contempt of court. The judge in Milford wants her there. That's why she's in jail. She got there originally, she got arrested because she was speeding and didn't have paperwork. That's how she ended up in the clutches of the government and she'll stay there as long as that judge feels like it. So we're going to entertain the inmates and hopefully irritate the jailers. I mean, there's going to be like 30 of us here and then they might start showing up because we've never done this outside their jail, so they're going to want to check us out. choose to categorize yourself as, what kind of message do you expect to send tonight? Um, basically that if you're going to force people to pay for the roads, we should have free use of the roads. Lauren's up there somewhere, although no one's quite sure where. And it's quite possible she doesn't even know we're out here tonight. They won't let her out of her cell very often. Well, I think she's hoping that uh, more people will actually follow her and what she's doing. She mentioned in one of her letters that uh, if she can do this to the system, I just think what 10 people could do doing the same thing. So I'm, I'm thinking she's hoping more people will uh, come to New Hampshire and do what she's doing. So I think that's, that's the most that uh, we can hope for that out of this uh, type of thing. That was Lauren's husband, Jim. She's not guilty. She didn't do nothing wrong. Liberty activist Kat Canning. It was great. I'm glad so many people showed up for this. She just didn't respond to the cops. She didn't say anything. And so they hauled her off and they've kept her in prison ever since. And that was, uh, what, a month ago 34, today? 34, 35 days ago? Because she refused to, help to show her registration and license? Yeah. She doesn't have it. Yeah. But, you know, they're, they're, not, even, they're not even processing her, apparently. They're just holding her because she refuses to play their games. Can't communicate with her, so uh, so we uh, um, they bang on the windows so the the news gets around inside the prison. So probably she'll she'll know eventually. But, uh, that's about it, as far as we know. She doesn't write out uh, regularly because she's not cooperating with them. I would imagine she's getting our letters on the inside. That's it. We hope yeah. That. They, uh, they, uh, they keep your letters, and uh, if you do something for them, then they give you the letters or something along that line. So they use it as a sort of a cruel thing. They keep your letters until they... Yeah. If you, uh, if you look, uh, if you Google Lauren Cario, there's a lot of things on the web about her and uh, in a lot of different spots. So she was uh, helping the uh, eminent domain in uh, New London for the... Uh, we were in New London defying the Supreme Court over the, uh, the eminent domain with the Kilo 7. The Pfizer company built a, uh, a sanitary plant for the city of New London in return for all of these people's houses, you know, which they systematically tore down. And there were seven people who uh, contested it all the way to the Supreme Court and lost, saying that, uh, that 
any local municipality can take any business, any home, and uh, turn it over to uh, anybody else. Private corporations. Any private corporations. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they don't like us here. So they haven't given us any special treatment tonight. But they, the command center noticed us and we had banging, you know, the, the inmates on this side and the south side of seen us, so that's good. We'll see what happens next. Are you, are you disappointed? No. Um, because, you know, when you take it, you know, we're taking one step further than we've done before, so you never know what's going to happen. You can learn more about Lauren Canario and her struggles against tyranny peacefully at nhfree.com. Anything to say, Mr. V? Wake up and smell the tyranny! I'm gonna just kind of run the scene right here. Good night, Lauren. Another night in the hole. Sleep as well as possible. <laughs>